Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I'm over here getting choked up and trying not to, but I can't help myself. Um, hi, the Lynn Turner family. I'm really honored to share about my experience of attending Irma. I want to reiterate what has already been said that first and foremost, that this is an experience that comes from a divine invitation. Um, perhaps um, you have a stirring inside you that you just can't shake. I know when it was my time to go this time last year, I felt that way. Um, I could taste it and I could hear the call to go very clearly. And maybe that's you right now. And if it is, you know who you are. And my sharing um, will only be a confirmation of that. Um, there may be some of you online who may be passively listening because you've counted yourself out, but who are you to do that? Don't worry about how Allah will facil facilitate it. Uh, may it be facilitated with ease. Uh, for me, I did not want to go to just any Umrah. It was my intention to go to Hajj eventually. It's an obligation. It's something that I've dreamed of for as long as I can remember. And I wanted to do that first. But it didn't happen that way. It wasn't made easy financially. So it was important for me to go with the right group. I made a lot of dua about it. I wanted to make the most out of this experience and squeeze it all out. All the juice until Hajj happened. <laughs> Um, and we know that there are hundreds of groups that exist. And to be honest, I didn't seek a lot of them. Lynn Turner found me. Um, and that is its own story for another day. Um, what spoke to me most was the emphasis um, on the experiential aspect. And I was moved by the intentionality of every stop that was made that I later learned was not typical for an Umrah trip. I've studied the Sira. I'm not an expert or a scholar, um, but I wanted to walk into the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I felt that on this trip, on this journey, it wasn't just a trip. And I would say that you can feel the du'as of all who coordinated this Umrah experience. Even in its name, it's done with intention, experiential, Sierra caravan, and Umrah. <laughs> um, and the storytelling from Ustad Hisham and Oase took what could feel like just a ritual to something that elevated the experience when that was engaging with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his essence. Um, I personally felt enveloped in the experience um, with Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, just thinking about it right now, just makes me very emotional. Um, it was full. We covered a lot of ground, which was an understatement, and it was worthwhile. Um, it was an immersion, it was soaked, and it was steeped with love for Allah and the stories and experiences. And as soon as we touched ground, before we actually did Umrah, there was time made for experience so much more, which really moved us. It, I felt like we were being injected and infused with remembrance that forced us to be present by the time we got to Umrah. Um, there was no other option but to attach ourselves to every action that we'd partaken in. Um, I don't have a comparison of other Umrahs. This was my first. Uh, but when I share my experience, just like Talaba said, with others who have been multiple time, times, there's like this FOMO of like, I wish I would have done that. Um, Ustad Hisham was such an incredible storyteller. And always, it was kind of like an encyclopedia of Islamic knowledge history and this quirky energizer bunner, bunny energy, which I loved. They were a nice compliment to each other. Uh, with um, Ustad uh, al Haj Hisham's like calm Zen vibes. He is very calm Zen vibes. Um, I have been Muslim all my life. I've always desired to connect more deeply 
uh, with the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his wife, the message, I learned so much I didn't know. On this journey, I felt like I was reintroduced to my faith, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in a way I never have, which has left this like lasting impression on me to be better, to learn more. To... It was just so satisfying. I don't know how to explain it. Um, and I felt refilled and nourished, as Talba was saying, from like a divine fountain of mercy. And I just became more thirsty for more. So I just want to say, Jazakallah khaira to Ustad Hisham, Saad, Awais, Atar, and all the hands whose efforts uh, brought such barakah to me, and all who attended. And we, we've we all heard of Kushu, like this, this spiritual attentiveness. And I felt that that Umar journey had the essence of kushu wrapped in it. I really do. And if I could go again with Lantern, I would. Um, it felt like family. It felt like a warm hug. You didn't feel like you were by yourself and swept into the busyness of rituals without heart. Um, I see so many of my Umrah family here right now who I remain connected to. And the last thing I want to say is if you have a little trembling in your heart wondering how you can go or or if you're on the fence and you're not sure if you're ready just go try um because you're being called to be there your lord is calling you um so answer it and go i received the partial scholarship and i was so touched by the giving um already so have no shame if you need that um, so just a call out to the donors, I'm so grateful and you won't regret it even if you're going on your last penny. Um, and that's all I wanted to share.